we have a choice to make. We can either side with Olivia Ambrose, who it turns out is alive, and destroy Project Gorgon, or side with Minnie to reactivate it. Or perhaps some third thing. Maybe, maybe there's a third thing, much like Edgewater. The Edgewater solution was, you know, look like you're doing the bad thing and then swerve into the best thing. Maybe, maybe the Peril on Gorgon solution is look like you're doing the bad thing, which for the record is restarting the thing, and swerve into the best thing. Maybe that's the case. If that's the case, we're going to find out. There's also this side quest, the Electric Fling. We've gotten a few of these phonographs, but we don't have all of them. You know, there's, a, there's one at the GPO in the ravine, and there's one in Observation Room B. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we finish this side quest before we make a decision as to what we're going to do with our main quest here? Let's activate that and get the to a Gorgonry before we do anything. So we'll go get that. Oh, hi, dudes. Man, y'all don't stay dead. Well, you know what? We don't have to kill you. Let's just go inside. We can be friends. We don't have to kill every marauder we run across. There's no law saying we got to kill marauders. It's just, you know, convenient and helpful, usually. Did we just navigate this dungeon last week? Yes. Does that help me remember how to navigate it now? Of course not. Now, I seem to recall that last week I picked a lock, which let me skip, like, basically the entire dungeon, but only after I fucking died the first time I tried to do the dungeon. So... You know, that's bad. Oh, hi. This will be fun. You didn't die. Despite my armor. clear request that you die. Oh, sick, sick. Oh. 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 Hi. Oh. Listen, buddy. Crap. Hey, can you die, please? I would consider it helpful. I've got a can't get past that armor. The hell we can't. I just took it down to half with less than a full clip. There. Yeah, we gotta take down the drones first. Come on. Die. Die, die, die. Okay. That actually didn't go terribly poorly. Oh boy, shooting range. Okay. They're going to be a whole bunch of. Well, 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 welcome, volunteers, to the combat test kit. Under the guidance of the Spacer's Choice Technicians, you will be able to practice course. Man, I gotta boost my Adrena time level somehow. Not my Adrena time, but my TTD meter. Like, I burn through TTD so quickly. Speaking of burning through things quickly, um, my teammates seem to have burned through their health very quickly. Oh, I'm going to die too. I have died too. Yes. Man, you know what I would really like in this game is some fucking Down grenades. Oh, you're left, Captain. Yeah, hi. I can't fucking. Yeah, yeah, I am hurt. I'm so hurt, I'm dead. It's up there. It's not down there. We don't have to go down there. We need to go up there. So maybe let's focus on going get up there. How do I go up there? I want to live up there. Okay. I've summoned an elevator. That's a good sign. Although I might be going too far. Nope. I think we're good. I think we're okay. 
It's over here. It's... Huh. Yeah, okay, this is the way out. It's not what I want. It's not what I want. Okay. All right. We'll find it. Maybe. Because the game wasn't kind enough to say portable phonograph in the HIA office is over here and portable phonograph in the other place is over here. Because this quest, quest marker is just pointing me to the one that's not in this building. This quest marker is the one that's in the building. Now the fucking thing is, oh my god, did I just stumble upon it? Wait, there are 96 enemies here. So maybe we should be stealthy. Maybe we should not charge headlong into there being 96 enemies. But hey. I don't believe we've discussed the side effects, Dr. Ambrose. The drug's Ooh. not ready for release yet. The side effects are immaterial. That's not true. So it's dangerous. Perhaps it's... Welcome, welcome, welcome volunteers to the combat test Try delusion, paranoia, gastric bleeds, violence, and fatal insomnia. That's bad. Uh, Our volunteers have died. Please don't. Suicide by automech. Gross. Suicide by hanging. Yeah. Starvation. Cut the recording, Georgie. You sure, boss? I just put on a new cylinder. Stroke, spontaneous combustion, internal exsanguination. <laughs> Turn it off. Oh. So yeah, uh, Dr. Ambrose knew that this was bad, which is why she shut it down. Great. Now that we have found the, the last, well, not the last one, but the one that's here, we can leave. All right, get me out of this building. Wait, there are marauders right outside this door. Shit. It's okay. Marauders outside the door are much easier to kill. Can we fast travel away while these guys don't know we're here? Because that would be amazingly convenient. You cannot fast travel while near hostiles. Fuck. Sorry, guys. Bad news. Here we go. I smell don't mess with us. How did he not see us? How did he not see that? You're scared. How did you not see that, you fucking idiot? Here they come. Okay, you did see that. So I am. Oh hi. No. Get back up, you asshole. Get up. Can kill him faster! Don't yell at me to get up! Kill him faster! This is bad. Man, Parvati, are you made out of tissue paper? Oh, oh, wow! Oh, what the? What in the? Oh, right, still death. Uh, Nioka's got this. What the hell happened to you, my guy? You got flung off. Do you know where you got sent off to? You got flung. In space. My God. Oh, Parvati died again. Parvati, who killed you? Who? Oh, hi. Since when do you exist? Very annoying. Down go. Yep, down you go. String up your enemies to prove dominance, I, I guess. Serious. Nyoka, have you not killed this guy yet? I gave you a. Wait, Nyoka died. Oh, well, that would explain why Nyoka hasn't killed him yet. I suppose. There. Are we done? Let's see here. Okay, so the last portable phonograph is right over here. This might not actually be that bad. Famous last words. Oh God, how did I run right past you? I ran right past, 
How did I... How did I not see any of you? What the hell is a primal miasma? Can't do it. Here, would you would you do your thing to the thing, please? I am a dog. Thank you. I just I just sprinted right past them. Like a dummy. Okay. Well, they're dead now. I can't believe this. What a joy to be here. What a sudden and complete surprise to be promoted to head garbage officer. <laughs> oh no. I guess he fell into the feed chute. Don't do this. Well, that's important. Starting by reading all available notation. If they believe that I, a humble chemist, am suited to such lofty work. Oh boy. <laughs> The operating manual is covered in blood stains, which does make it difficult to understand. <laughs> Turns out a sp the emergency stop does not work. Oh no. Seriously considering micro micro dosing. Yep. 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 Oh boy. No one's going to read it. No, I'm reading it. This is spread shit. Today I compacted a marauder's corpse into a tiny cube of meat. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Day 100. What a milestone. Oh no. What would it look like to run a mantis worm? Oh no. Oh gross. Come out and clean up some kind of cargo rail accident. Had to, had to trek all the way out there just to tell them I don't deal with fluids. Oh. Oh, boy. What if I just dove in? Yeah. Yeah, that would be painful. They still want you to clean up the accident? That was... That was, like, months ago. Any bodily fluids from compressing organic material are just incidental. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, the garbage man had a very bad day. Had several in a series of very bad days, actually. Oh. But hey! We found the, the, the last porter. I almost said the last pornograph, which. Oh no. Oh no. That's wrong. Oh no, 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 no. That's incorrect. Tell me about the production of Adrena Time, Dr. Ambrose. I hear Compound X is a unique challenge to work with. It's temperamental. It must be refined under tightly controlled circumstances at tremendously low temperatures. Okay. Do you compound it with anything else? Tell me more about your refining process. Our audience is conversant in the sciences. Very detail-oriented. So don't be afraid to get technical. <laughs> Last time I met you, you spoke like a groundbreaker build sprat. Why the sudden airs and such specific questions? Does your minder know what you're up to? Does he suspect you're a spy? But, pardon me. Interesting. And now, we have two places we can go. So. Uh, I found all the portable phonographs Roscoe needed to complete his employment contract, but Georgie asked Roscoe to deliver the portable phonographs to her per personal auto mech. So, hmm. Hmm. And again, hmm. I think if we deliver these to NT Ver, we're fucking over Roscoe. So, let's not do that. Roscoe seemed like a nice fella from what I can remember of him. Let's uh let's at least go uh, go have a chat with him. 
Oh, Roscoe. New York Mets reliever Jesse Orozco. And also Orioles and Blue Jays. And I think the Red Sox had him for a while. And Jesse Orozco had a long career. But the joke is Orozco. Hey, there you are. Been wondering how you were doing. Dying, mostly. Did you manage to find those recordings? Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, question, though. Sure, I'm an open book. Uh, what's the deal with Lucky Montoya? That's a good question. <laughs> a free remember some guys for Jesse Orozco. Hey, you know. Uh, what was Gorgon like in its heyday? Why did you even bother stashing? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Why did you bother stashing these? Someone had been trying to steal them since the day my assistant and I started interviewing. Couldn't even keep them in my safe. They always found a way in. Hmm. So I took to hiding them all over the fucking asteroid. I see. Thought I was so clever. What a fool I was. All right. Uh, what's the deal with Lucky Montoya? Nice enough guy. Fashioned himself one of those professional gumshoes, like in the serials. They usually work for the board, rooting out dissidents and the like. Mm -hmm. Lucky, though, he was freelance. Worked for anyone who paid, no matter their allegiance. You ask me, I think the guy just likes snooping around in folks' terminal messages. It's fun, usually. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did, 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 oh, wow. Did, did Lex tell you that she sent me his arm? No, but I'd wager Lex there's a lot of weird shit she doesn't tell anyone about. That's the sublight way. <laughs> Gotta say, though, <laughs> mailing a stranger some dead guy's arm probably tops the list. It was impressive. At least I'd hope so. Not gonna lie. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, you can have the recordings. Not a problem. Anything else? Here are the recordings. Well, I'll be damned. Now I can finally get off this rock and go home. I know it's not much, but take the last of my bits. You've earned every single one, friend. Thanks, Brasco. Uh, but, uh, hey, uh, did you know that Georgie was also interviewing Olivia? She couldn't have been. We were together all the time. Not true. Except, oh, shit, my weekly calls with headquarters. What could she even want to ask Olivia Ambrose about? Doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, she wanted, like, actual information. Good fucking law. Headquarters would kill me if they knew. Right after they killed her. Oh. Hell, being stuck here might have been the only thing keeping me alive. I see. So what's the deal there? No, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes it seemed like there could be when we were servicing the phonographs or sharing a beer, but who'd be interested in some forgotten old bastard like me? Georgie, from the sound of it. <laughs> yeah, let, let's, let's sweet talk the guy. <laughs> sure. Nice of you to say. Sorry. Not much in the mood for a witty repartee, what with the world shattering revelations and all. Mm -hmm. Any other horrible truths you want to reveal to me? Or can I get back to my drinking? Um, no, nah, I ain't got nothing. Listen, I appreciate you telling me what happened with those recordings, but I need some time to think. Got a lot to process. Okay. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. See you around. Right. Well, that's job done. Now we have, uh, uh things to do. Things that don't involve going to see Phineas. I think the game wants... Yeah, it immediately bumped us back to the main quest, but that's not what we're doing. Instead, uh, we've got to figure out what we're doing with this whole thing here. Or maybe... Ooh, no, there's one more side mission where we're stalling. I mean, uh, important task for us to do to uh, resolve the plot or something. Leonora! Hey, you remember, like, four episodes or something when we got your flask? Yeah, we got your flask. You find anything out there, you let me know. I'm ready to get off this rock. I found a flask. That's it, all right. Law. Still smells like his whiskey, his cigarettes, and that awful cologne he bathed in every morning. <laughs> Here. I saved up for this just in case I needed to go out into the ruins myself. Truth be told, I'm glad I never had to use it. You didn't happen to find anything else out there, did you? 
should I have been? Oh, right. Oh, right. Jerome's uh, journal, which detailed his devolution into uh, Marauder. Yeah, no. Um, uh, yeah, he, he died peacefully. Good, good. I should have been there for him, but I suppose he wanted to be alone in the end. Uh-huh. Thank you for the flask. Jerome and I were supposed to live and die together, but sometimes fate has other plans. Well, you know. Time for me to get off this rock. Memories hang around here like a bad smell, and I could use some fresh air. That's a poetic way of saying it. Bye. That was a real kind thing you did, Captain. Maybe not what I would have wanted, but it looks to be what she needed. Don't. I don't know, Cap. Don't. She'll find some peace in this, but sometimes it's better to know the truth and deal with it. You? She's. Okay. Listen. You too. I am the captain. That means I am in charge. If you have questions about my decisions, you're totally free to talk about them. This is not a cheer tatorship. It is much more of a cheerocracy. However, however, you should not question my decision to lie to a lady when you are four feet away from the lady to whom I lied. Okay? Okay? Like, at least, at least let's get out of the room, right? There's a door right here. We could get outside of the door. Perhaps close the door. Leave her to her depressive drinking and cologne huffing. And then when we're over here, something like 40 feet away from the lady to whom I just lied, you two could question my decision to lie to the lady. Instead, you have told the lady that I lied, thereby ruining the lie. You ruined my lie! Ah! Leaving this place. Tempted to go back to the ship and get Felix and Sam. Felix and Sam never questioned my decision to lie to people. Felix and Sam don't even know that I'm lying to people. God! We can either restore power to the Adrena Time Synthesizer or activate the NDA protocol to destroy the Adrena Time Synthesizer. I think, and this might just be influenced by having been to Edgewater, remembering what happened there, being specifically told by people in my chat to remember what happened there. I think if there is going to be an unlisted third choice best solution to this quest, it's going to start by going and talking to Olivia Ambrose. Now, we're not going to murder Olivia Ambrose because if it only comes down to a binary choice, we support Olivia Ambrose. But if there's going to be a super secret, oh my God, you found the best ending ending to this DLC, it's going to involve us uniting Olivia and her daughter. So, fuck it. Speaking of fucking it, um, how do we get past these marauders without getting into a fight with these marauders? Because we fought enough marauders, I think. I don't know that we can, necessarily. We might be in trouble. Wait, why am I walking away? I want to be in this building. I keep my promises, Captain. Oh boy. Do you know the funny thing about mercenaries? They exist in a nearly infinite supply. Even out of work softball players. Oh. Now hold on. I got questions about the size of this softball team. I see. So Olivia has sicked uh, has sicked tossball guys on us, which I mean, okay, fair.
maybe we don't have to be here? You know, it does occur to me that maybe we could just go see, um, well, see, the problem is, if we go see Minnie, Minnie has promised to shoot us on sight. So if there's gonna be a happy-go-lucky, everyone's happy solution, it's gonna involve going and talking to Olivia, so... I'm already here. Fuck it. Get away from me. At least so I can bust out my hot. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Man, three hits and you just go down. But use the... Use the thing. Use the thing. Use more of the thing. There. Jesus Christ! Wowzers! I mean, I could have this lady on my side. Those guys are a riot. Bring it on, champions! I could have these guys on my side very easily. Well, I could have Olivia on my side very easily. It's just, I'd have to go kill her daughter. Which... It's not a thing that I want. Also, I, we appear to have started fighting now, so. This one's going better, at least. That did go better. Now listen, Olivia. Can we be friends? Can, can there be some way to, like... Oh my god, you fucking idiots. No wonder that fight was easier. None of you got involved in it. Well, hey, if we can turn it into two fights... I'm not opposed to the idea of turning it into two fights. Oh, that's Nioka. I just shot Nioka in the face. Oops. So you guys are just dumb. Got it. Well, you died on account of being dumb. So, oh my God, you're so dumb. What was that? We're turning it into three fights, which is a good way to win a fight, I suppose. Turn it into three separate fights. That works for me. Okay, Olivia, I killed your mercs. Can we be friends now? Even though, like, by clear, obvious intention, it looks like I'm betraying you. Which is not a thing that I want. Here they come. Here they come? There's a they? Oh my god, did we turn this into- We turned this into four fights. No wonder we won that fight. We turned it into four fights! Do I remember how to get to Olivia? Of course not. I will, however, point out, this music fucking rules. This music rules so hard. Getting our leg exercises in, at least. Hi, Olivia. Listen, can we be friends? Even though I'm on paper betraying you right now? You hired a lot of people to kill me just on the off chance that I on paper betray you, but, um... I, I don't want to... Okay, I'm actively betraying her at this point. I really should have tried to go talk... Man, talking sense into the people who aren't on your side is a great way to, like, if things go wrong, you just kill them. Alright, well... game's easier when you don't fucking die every time. I 
really should have tried to go after Minnie. Because again, if you fuck up and you can't re and you can't reason with Minnie, you just kill Minnie and you take the acceptable ending. Now I'm risking taking the mean person ending. Down they go. God, you're dumb. Here we go. Worst case scenario, does the galaxy need either? I suppose you have a point, Cap. If we wind up having to kill Olivia, that doesn't necessarily mean we... Did I just get one-shotted by that guy? Oh my god! That would mean there's a free unoccupied mansion? Okay, fortunately this goalie is, you know, cowering. Which is great, because we're actually quite bad at killing. Okay. I suppose the worst realistic case scenario is that we wind up killing both of them. Which is, you know, certainly more work and effort and cowboy justice than I signed up for. No shit. <clears throat> On my right. Oh, my right. Oh, boy. That's probably a shortcut. You are an idiot. That guy was a dumb guy. Now he's a dead guy. Ooh, barge door. Aha. Uh -huh. Olivia, still want to be friends. Not actively seeking to betray you, just, you know, sort of betraying you. Making it look like we're betraying you. Would be reasonable to assume that we're betraying you, given that you specifically said we would be betraying you if we did this thing. Hey, kill the robots. Kill the robots. Kill the robots. Thank you, Nioka. How is how is that robot not dead? Are these robots sustaining each other? The, the robots are sustaining each other. As long as the robots are sustaining each other, there's nothing I can... Wait, if they're sustaining each other, maybe I can kill the... Okay. I killed you, dude. If only I had a grenade launcher, and I killed them both. Well, okay, fair. But it's not working. They're not actually... No, they're just... Okay, you know what? We don't have to kill these guys. I can just walk past. Y'all can just keep each other alive forever. I don't care. Listen, your your robots are fellating each other. Or so oh, you're not Olivia. This bad. This bad. This bad. This is a problem. 
Okay, now there's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, problem. Problems and pain. Problems and pain in equal measure. Run! Keep running! Go, 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 go! Did anybody get on the elevator with me? No! No, they didn't! Okay. Wow! Look at the size of this thing! Like some kind of slumbering beast. Okay, yeah. But, um... Look, Olivia, can we, uh, secret third option this, please? Because if we can secret third option this, oh, that would just be perfect. And if not, well, we're kind of pot committed at this point to, to the, to the, it's going to be very difficult to get out of this without murdering Olivia at this point if there isn't a okay you're just an enemy way to hell up there I don't care it's gonna be very hard to get out of this without murdering Olivia unless we can secret third option this so you know we better hope we can secret third option this Hi. I'll give you one thing, little weasel. You are relentless. Right. I did everything in my power to stop you, yet here you stand before me, offensively alive. I'm sorry. Just so we're clear. If you intend to restart this machine, you'll have to go through me. However, can't we talk this through? I'm done talking. Cooperation. Compromise, consensus, it resolves nothing. All that remains is action and inaction. Kill me, or let me destroy this place. I don't want to kill you, is the thing. If you believe this will be that simple, you haven't been paying attention. I can no more walk away than I can voluntarily cease breathing. I will die before I let my empty-headed daughter resurrect Adrena time. Do you understand? What if we made it good, though? Also, also, as much as I want there to be a secret third option, I hope the gate to the secret third option is a little bit harder than having a persuade one. Like, there have been some, there have been some checks in the game so far. There was one not too long ago. We had a lie of one check. And in that case, it felt like the game was saying, look, you have to lie in order to say this thing. But this is a thing that the person you're talking to very much wants to hear. This is an easy lie to tell. You can get away with this lie. You don't have to be a good liar to get away with this. There are times when that made sense, okay? This right here, if this is the only check, this being a persuade one after what we've seen from Olivia and Minnie to this point, it feels cheap. However, it's what we're going to say. There is no working with Spacer's Choice. You work for them. That's true. If you refuse, they sell your contract to a rival firm staffed by your enemies. Or seize your housing and turn you out onto the street. Or both. And if you've really irritated them, they simply kill you. You mean like you tried to do me? Uh, yeah, it's a good thing that I'm trying to fuck over the board, lady. An inside job? Huh. Even Sophia will never see that coming. Who would want to give up all that power? Sincerely, I wish you luck. I suspect you're just about the only person in this colony who believes that's possible. Yeah. Besides that madman, Wells. 
Judging by his wanted poster, he's always lived on the tail end of the sanity bell curve. Hey, I got great news. He has it right. The board doesn't care for Halcyon. I got great news. They'll do anything and use anyone to see their ends met. What if I told you Does you could really work with agreed him? with Mr. Wells? She'd be out there helping him, not hold up here on this rock. Maybe she doesn't know he's out there. Maybe she doesn't know... Let her complete the cure. I mean, I don't actually want there to be... I don't want Minnie to be true, though. I don't want Minnie to be right. She has no intention of curing the marauders. She's only going to make more of them. That's probably Adrenatime true. time is addictive. It's poison. The only way they can perfect it is by making it more irresistible. Intimidate one? You might change your mind with a gun. To no, I'm not intimidating this lady. Very well. I'd like to ask you something before we end this farce. I think I'm due that much at least. All right. You've plumbed all the sordid depths of Gorgon. You know how many lives my work destroyed, and still you want to revive it. Why? I really don't. I really don't. I should have gone and killed Minnie. Fuck. I guess. I guess it's possible that a better Adrena time could make life better for the colonists. I don't actually believe that, but it's possible. You know that's not true, and that's still true. you say it. Either you are astonishingly naive, gravely misled, or a cynical opportunist. There is not a solution to every problem, and you can't just will one to appear out of thin air. Some things cannot be fixed, Captain. Adrena time, this colony, me. Find peace in that if you can. I doubt you'll find it anywhere else. But enough. You didn't come here for a lecture. Let's get this charade over with. <sighs> well, she's kind enough to say, okay. We're going to fight. All right, Olivia. I guess because I didn't want to go the intimidate path, you're going to have to fucking die. And since you were kind enough to tell me this is the point at which we engage in combat, I will not be kind enough to do that to you. Get in the reactor, lady. No context shove into reactor. <laughs> oh, Hulkamack coming in with the perfectly timed resub. <laughs> Just as we push Olivia into the reactor. <laughs> oh, fuck. Do we actually want to restart Adrena Time production here? I kind of don't think we do. So maybe we, uh, maybe we just take this gun here and we go pay Minnie a visit and tell her it's done. And by tell her it's done, I mean, oh, I wonder what happens if you enact the NDA protocol after Minnie's already dead. Or after, after Olivia's already dead. That's a good question. Flooding the colony with more Adrena time is bad. It's not a good thing. However, flooding the colony with Adrena time and, you know, killing the lady who was going to be in charge of it and then putting us in charge of it, that might have some merit. There might be something there. It's done. I made the right choice. 
I really do. All right. Well, uh, Felix is not a fan. Not stunning. Just wait. We we have one more trick up our sleeves. And by trick up our sleeves, I mean we're murdering Minnie. So, you know, spoilers. Oh, Minnie. Minnie, I did your thing. Take someone to watch your back. Listen. Um... Vicar Max and Nioka and I Please. are just coming to talk with weapons. Hi, Minnie. You've done it! The Gorgon asteroid is under my control. The Ambrose family curse is broken. And my legacy will rise from the ashes in triumph. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Captain. We're going to change the Halcyon colony. This time for the better. As for Mother, what's done is done. I grieved for her long ago. The woman who perished on Gorgon was only her shadow. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did this so we can do right by Adrena Tom. Shall we toast? Let's have us a drink here. Ah, yes, of course. To the future of Adrena Time. May fortune and favor course through the veins of Halcyon. Mm-hmm. I haven't forgotten your payment. Here's a little extra for your discretion. Oh, gee, thanks. We're still not sold on this, but I suppose the only thing we can do now is hope they get it right the second time. Of course, my gratitude goes out to your crew as well. Equal contributors all, I'm sure. Right. This has been a long time coming, Captain. I can finally get on with my life, and the colony can begin to heal. Yeah, about Where that. Where do you go from here? What heroic challenge will the intrepid captain of the unreliable conquer next? Well, there is this, uh, there is this drug lord on a remote asteroid far removed from the heart of the colony who very recently revived a secret abandoned spaces choice project against the advice of every scientist that worked on it and indeed all facts and logic. And this drug lord has made herself uh, quite a lot of money over the course of her lifetime and intends to make quite a bit more selling a horrible stimulant what is uh, capable of destroying the lives of anyone what takes it. And I'm going to drink my whiskey and then shoot her in the face. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I don't have any real plans. Capital idea. I hope that fortune draws you a long and winding path, even if it loops around from time to time. Good luck out there, Captain. I would wish you safe travels, but I do so admire how you rush headlong into danger. Keep it that way, won't you? Of course. Wink and make a finger gun. Excellent. Job done. Quest done. There are... Amazingly, no guardians in this room. So, uh, Minnie. Oh, this is this is beautiful. Why don't you take a long look at your uh, your beautiful your new asteroid there? And we don't mind me. I'm just gonna go over here. Let's see here. Uh, critical damage plus fifteen percent. Uh, extra headshot and weak spot damage plus 25%. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Why don't we just pop one of those and, uh, you know, let's just do that. Here we go. And then that. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, we do that. I think we do that. Good news is, uh, Minnie is fucking dead, meaning there's nobody to oversee the terrible new project of reviving Adrena Time. Bad news is um, I don't think any of my crew are actually going to acknowledge the fact that I did that or that that was my plan all along. And on paper, I did take the dickbag ending of the Peril on Gorgon DLC. But... Um... 
I don't actually have a butt. Anyway, let's uh, take a look here. That is going to be the end of this episode. We have completed all of these Peril on Gorgon quests. And next time, though the main quest calls, I think we will begin the murder on Eridanos. We are knocking out two DLCs back to back before we return to the main plot. And we will start the murder on Eridanos next time. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good night and goodbye.